In this code sample, we start with a script element that refers the model's core framework. We just specify the URL for getting the JavaScript file, which is actually the model's framework. In this case, we save the HTML file within the same folder where we saved the JavaScript file we downloaded from models, so we can just specify the name and it should work. Here you, here you can see um, a code sample for defining a new class. Yes, you are right, JavaScript doesn't allow defining new classes, but when you use the models framework, then you can define new class as many classes as you want and then you can instantiate those classes as in this code sample here I instantiate the class rectangle and then call the function details on the new created object let's try to see the outcome of this code I will just try to refresh and here it is. And this is the outcome of running this code.